The image, which represents colonial history, has hung for decades. But Oxford University graduates at Magdalen College said it should be taken down, along with a cardboard cutout of the monarch. They voted to remove the adornments from their common room and ruled no new depictions of the 95-year-old head of state should ever be put up. Education Secretary Gavin Williamson slammed the move, and said, Oxford University students removing a picture of the Queen is simply absurd. She is the head of state and a symbol of what is best about the United Kingdom. During her long reign she has worked tirelessly to promote British values of tolerance, inclusivity and respect around the world. Former Oxford Union President James Price said, This is a petulant and childish move by grown-up students who really ought to know better. It's yet another sad example of lazy, woke posturing by entitled students who would rather criticize imperfect but decent and noble institutions than deal with the complexities of the real world or, better yet, focus on their studies. Despite obvious difficulties the Queen oversaw what was probably the most pain-free dismantling of an empire in history. Let's hope they aren't history students. The artifacts have been removed from the Magdalen Common Room, whose members are graduates studying masters or PhDs. Minutes from the MCR committee meeting held on Monday, and seen by this newspaper, said, members have brought forward discomfort with the MCR promoting the image of the Queen, including a portrait and a cardboard cutout. The Queen represents an institution responsible for much of colonialism throughout history and the modern era, and these depictions cause some students discomfort. As such the Equalities Subcommittee proposes the portrait be taken down and auctioned to fundraise for a charity working to improve the lives of those suffering the consequences of colonialism, and that no new depictions of the Queen should replace it. Last night, the college president told this newspaper it supported the move. It was tabled by Matthew Katzman, president of the MCR, and agreed by a majority. The portrait has now been removed, according to the committee's president, and it is understood it will be put into storage. MCR President Katzman said, it has been taken down. It was decided to leave the common room neutral. That was what this was about. The college will have plenty of depictions of various things, but the common room is meant to be a space for all to feel welcome. The portrait will be replaced by art by or of other influential and inspirational people. Dickie Arbiter, the Queen's former press secretary, told The Express last night, My initial reaction is the hope the administration gets tough and doesn't pander to the minority. Former Brexit Party MEP Martin Daubney said, These Cretinous students are proof that a little education is a dangerous thing. They are the elite. They're the most pampered and privileged students on the planet. Yet in their fantasy land, they believe they are part of some phony revolution against the crown. The only way to end this is for donors to defund them. The government pays 8% of their upkeep, let's start with that. This moronic national self-loathing has to stop. Any student who feels a portrait of the Queen makes them feel unwelcome in the UK perhaps is unwelcome in the UK. Ironically, these goons only do this because we are so welcoming and tolerant in the UK. If they tried this type of preening posturing in Russia or North Korea they'd find themselves mysteriously vanishing overnight. Mr. Price, who became the oldest president of the Oxford Union Debating Society at 29, said, 
far from being the bright, shining future, these coddled students' futures seem content to follow trends from the United States rather than confront the fact 21st century Britain is a wonderful, hopeful place where opportunity, acceptance and joy are more available to more people than anywhere else in the world. Previous generations were real anti-fascists, saving the world from the twin evils of fascism and communism, but tin pot revolutionaries in modern universities find themselves having to invent new enemies. If they wanted to actually evil regimes confront evil, totalitarian regimes, they could look to the Chinese Communist Party. Human rights barrister and college president Dinah Rose said, Magdalen College's MCR is an organization of graduate students who have their own common room. The way they choose to decorate that room is a matter for them. Magdalen believes strongly in freedom of speech, and supports the rights of its students to conduct their affairs in accordance with processes their own democratic processes. Magdalen College was founded in 1458 and is one of Oxford University's wealthiest colleges with a financial endowment of £332 million. Torn past students include Oscar Wilde, Dudley Moore, William Haig, Jeremy Hunt, Andrew Lloyd Webber, Ian Hislop, and George Osborne. The move comes weeks after another Oxford University college said a statue of British imperialist Cecil Rhodes will not be torn down. The global Black Lives Matter protests which erupted last summer sparked calls for the monument Monumentatorial College to be removed. Campaigners demanded it be ripped down claiming Rhodes, a 19th century businessman and politician in southern Africa, embodied white supremacy. Comment by Patrick O'Flynn When a leading public institution cancels the head of state it is a sign that the bonds which bind our society together are being torn apart. The decision by students at Magdalen College, Oxford, to take down its portrait of the Queen because for some students depictions of the monarch and the British monarchy represent recent colonial history shows just how extreme the left-wing attacks on British culture and history have become. Last month another leading seat of learning, King's College London, apologized to staff for emailing them a photograph of the Duke of Edinburgh, saying that had been inappropriate because he had expressed what they deemed sexist and racist views during his lifetime. His picture was therefore said to constitute a microaggression that caused harms to staff. Insulting the late consort was bad enough, but Magdalene's calculated snub to Her Majesty is an even worse display of leftist intolerance. In fact, few people have striven so hard and for so long as the Queen to promote a multiracial society. That is why the governments of so many former colonies have been delighted to play a leading role in the voluntary brotherhood of nations that is the Commonwealth. And it is also why the decision of the Magdalen students is so absurdly unjust. As long ago as 1933, the Oxford Union Debating Society passed a motion declaring, this house will under no circumstances fight for its king and country. Fortunately, plenty of patriots were willing to put their lives on the line to defend freedom. If they had instead followed the Oxford Oath, the spread of fascism and Nazism across Europe would have gone unchallenged. No doubt good old-fashioned British common sense will resist the latest wave of fatty left-wing ideology. But that does not make it any less upsetting for all of us who are proud of our country and our Queen. The modern left cannot win elections but still seems to find ways to impose its warped agendas. So come on Boris Johnson, put together a plan of action and send them packing. <laughs>